Amid the ongoing violence in Syria, key rebel leaders have put forward a familiar proposal, signaling they're open to peace talks with government forces on one condition. In their first meeting with the United Nations Security Council, members of the Western-backed Syrian National Coalition agreed to take part in negotiations. Only if Syrian President Bashar al-Assad steps down and hands over power to a transitional government. So far, all attempts at a conference between all parties have stalled. Al Jazeera and the BBC explains why this time around might prove just as difficult. This meeting was a first, but did it actually achieve anything? Diplomats say the possibility that peace talks will ever take place in Geneva is still far from certain. With the Assad regime making military gains and with Russia continuing to supply it with heavy weaponry, it's less likely to agree to any meaningful political compromise. The U.S. in turn hasn't ruled out supplying weapons to the rebels, something Russia has said is undermining any chance at bringing both sides to the negotiating table. Still, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has claimed progress with Russia in recent weeks, pointing out both countries are committed to a political rather than military solution. Moscow appears willing to press on with peace talks as well. RT quotes Russia's ambassador to the U.N. saying talks have good chances because the alternative would be so horrifying. The U.N. also announced it reached an agreement with Assad's government over investigating alleged chemical weapons use, although it was not clear on whether Syria will let U.N. inspectors into the country. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.